Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole from Nick at Home, and today I'm going to be showing you three easy appetizers you can make for your next summer party or barbecue. They're all delicious, easy to make, and take no time at all. So let's get right into it. So first we're gonna be starting off with a BLT dip and I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box down below for you. But I'm just starting off with combining together eight ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of mayo, and a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese in a bowl. So once you have that mixed together really well, you're just gonna put that into a shallow dish. I used like a pie plate for this, and you're just gonna spread around in an even layer. After you have the spread down on the bottom of the plate, I'm just adding in some romaine lettuce right on the top. The recipe calls for one cup, but I just eyeballed this to what I felt was uh, the right amount. Next, I'm chopping up some green onions and I'm gonna add that to the top. I used about four green onions for this. Next, I'm just chopping up some tomatoes to add right on top of the lettuce and green onions. And I used a mixture of some plum tomatoes and then I also used some leftover grape tomatoes that I had. And now for the best part, I'm adding on top the bacon. And I made this bacon in the oven just because I find that's the easiest way to make it. I used an entire package of bacon for this. And then once it was cooled and drained, I'm just breaking it off in little pieces and adding it to the top of the dip. And I'm just finishing off this dip with some cheddar cheese on top. And the dip's all set to go. You could store this in the fridge ahead of time if you made it for a party. It's delicious and really anything with bacon's gonna be good. We served ours with tortilla chips and it was a big hit. All right, the next recipe is a bruschetta with feta cheese. I don't have a recipe for this. I just kind of made it up as I went. So I'm just showing you some of the ingredients here that you will need. I used a white wine vinegar, olive oil and balsamic vinegar, tomatoes, basil, red onion, garlic, feta cheese, and then some seasoning. I use oregano salt and pepper. And I'm starting off by chopping up my tomatoes and I ended up taking the seeds out of the tomatoes for this just because the seed area is where a lot of the water is in the tomato and it's gonna hold up a little bit better in the bruschetta if we take that out. And you can just pull it out right with your hand. And once I have my tomatoes all chopped up, I'm going to be adding in some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and then a very small amount of white wine vinegar. You could also use white distilled vinegar if you have that as well. And then I'm just gonna stir that into the tomatoes so that that can marinate while we start on everything else. And next I'm just adding a little bit of oregano in and giving that a stir as well. Next, I'm adding in my red onion that I chopped, and then I'm also gonna be using a garlic press to add the garlic directly into this. Next, I'm adding in my basil, and I use a pretty heavy amount of basil just because I like that fresh herb taste. And I'm using kitchen scissors, and I'm just kind of rolling up the leaves together and just snipping it right in with the scissors. Next, I'm gonna be adding in feta cheese to this, and this wouldn't be a traditional bruschetta kind of cheese you would use, but I like the feta because it gives it a little bit of a tang and something a little bit different. And that's it, you can just add some salt and pepper to taste if you feel like it needs it. And I served this with these little bruschetta toasts that I found at ShopRite by me. This was really delicious and nice on a summer day. 
Last but not least, we have our spinach dip cups. And for this, you're gonna need some frozen spinach, artichoke hearts, some garlic, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, some garlic, salt and pepper, and then seamless crescent dough. I'm starting off with some frozen spinach that I defrosted in the microwave and then uh, wrung it out on a paper towel to get the moisture out. And then I'm also adding in my cream cheese, half of my mozzarella cheese, artichoke hearts, garlic, and Parmesan cheese, and then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and then mixing this all around. This is gonna be the spinach dip part of our bites. Now I'm starting off opening up my crescent dough and then I'm gonna roll that out onto my cutting board. I'm gonna be honest here, I did not do well with cutting these squares evenly, which you'll see in a few moments, uh, but the recipe calls to make an eight by 12 rectangle and then cut into two inch squares. I did my best and honestly, it still tastes delicious. Um, so if you struggle with this, you are not alone. I have a mini muffin tin that I've greased and then I'm just placing my squares right into the cup. And I will say if you can make your squares to the point where they are a little bit larger, it does help if you have more surface area covering with the dough to pull them out when it's done. On some of them where the dough pieces are a little bit smaller, I had a little bit of a hard time getting them out once they were cooked. So just a little tip for you. And now that we have our dough in all the cups, I'm adding in the filling onto each one and I'm using about a heaping teaspoon here. And the last half of the mozzarella cheese is for right on top. So I'm just sprinkling that onto each little cup. And then this is gonna go in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes at 375 degrees. And here they all are cooked. You do wanna give this about five to 10 minutes before you pull it out of the muffin tin. And these are addicting guys. I ate about 20 of these on the day that I made this video. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe down below and give this video a like and comment for more videos you'd like to see. Until next time, bye guys.